versus Taylor Boudain, and Jones is going to win it. Streaking down for the layup, it's Starla Daggins, and Daggins gives the Lady Bobcats an early two to nothing lead. Totten bringing it up for the Lady Tigers. Moving to her right, working against Daggins. Now to her left, looking for Gilbert. Gilbert trying to make a pass herself, gets it inside to Collins. Collins dishes to Sisk. Sisk, the marksman, nails it. Splash, Amber Sisk makes it a 3-2 CCC lead. Daggins other way for Jones. She gives it over to Johnson. Johnson no good. Collins on the board. She's averaging almost 20 and 10 per game. Now Totten almost loses it near the sidelines. Hopefully Collins can stay out of foul trouble tonight and remain in this game long enough to have a sizable impact. Sisk dishes it inside to her. A little pull up there. No good. Too strong. Rebound, though, by Jones. Back up. Rolls it off the rim. Number 20, Allison Johnson on the rebound. She's going to bring it across the timeline. Tries to go inside. And Collins with a partial block there. Lady Tigers get the basketball back. That was Boudain, who Collins just rejected. Totten over to Sisk. Sisk with all three points right now for CCC. She gives it to Collins. Collins long jumper too short. Rebound by Boudain. She's going to get it out to Johnson. Johnson brings it down the near side across the halfway point. She's picked up by Totten. Kicks it down to Simmons. And Simmons turns it over. It's going to be Lady Tiger basketball going the other way. Not used to seeing the Lady Tigers wearing black so far this season. They've sported maroon. They've sported white. But now, displaying these new jerseys, Totten beats her woman, trying to go into the key. She's going to lose it. It's picked up by Jada Simmons. Simmons pushing the other way. Gilbert picks her up, prevents a layup. She gives it to Johnson. Johnson's just going to hold, let things get set up. Kicks it over to Parker. Katie Parker, the Mac JC Player of the Week last week, gives it over to Daggins. Daggins back to Katie, who drives and puts in a layup. Katie Parker, number 21. The 5'7 guard. Now, I just said she was the Mac JC Player of the Week. That was my mistake. That was actually Boudain, who was the Player of the Week. Totten draws a foul here on Daggins. Daggins bumped her as she was going across the halfway point. That is the first foul for either team. First one on Daggins. Gilbert inbounds to Totten, who makes a quick move, going toward the block, tries a little jumper. She's partially blocked, and it is going to be Kahoma ball there under the hoop. Totten showing off that speed and that agility that makes her so dangerous. She's going to be the one who inbounds. A couple of picks being set. Now a little bounce pass toward Collins. It's picked off by Simmons, and Simmons is going to go far side. Beat Jones. Jones gets a hand on it, though. Jones recovers, though. Jones Community College recovers, and it's Taylor Boudain who finishes it off. Ariel Jones... And Jones Community College. That might get a little bit confusing tonight, but we'll do our best to make it clear. Gilbert on the wing. Little spin move. Gives to Collins. Short jumper. Too short. Rebound here by Sisk. Sisk nearly loses it. Looks like her foot did go out of bounds there trying to save it. And it's going to be JCJC ball going the other way. That's Jones County ball going the other way. A couple of substitutions here for the Lady Bobcats. Looks like number 22, Tarika Williams, has subbed into the game, as has Amiona House, who just brought it up, feeds it in to Williams, who puts in that layup, and now it is 6-3 in favor of J.C. J.C. Gilbert across the timeline. She's the point forward, excellent ball hander, spins her way out of trouble, pulls up, bang, baby! Gabrielle Gilbert, pretty play there, beating a couple of defenders and then knocking it down, no problem. They're going to feed Williams inside again. She goes to the key, beats Collins, but it looks like she traveled. Collins forced her to move her feet a little bit too much, and now it's Lady Tiger ball under their own hoop. Totten on the inbound. Sisk is going to come back to try to get it. Score is 8-5 right now. Jones County on top. Gilbert. Brings it across the halfway line, trying to drive key. Gives it to Collins. Collins baseline power move and the way in. Erica Collins having her way down there. Another great play to make it an 8-7 to seven game. Lady Bobcats other way. Williams, nice turnaround herself. That was pretty. 10-7. Since checking into the game, Tarika Williams has scored four points in just about a minute and a half. 
Impressive start for the young woman from Bay St. Louis. Sisk out on the near wing. She works her way into the key. Little runner off the iron. Jones County comes up with a rebound. Who else? It's Tarika Williams. She feeds it outside to House. House driving right toward the block. She's going to be fouled by Totten. Totten bumped her a little bit as she was going in for that runner. And that will be the first personal foul on the Lady Tigers. It will be the first personal on Josta Totten. Each team now with one foul, 16.03 to go here in the first period. On the line, it's... Amiona House, and House, the 5-2 sophomore out of Quitman, makes the first one. Erika Blair is going to sub into the game. Erica Collins is going to sub out. Collins is holding her knee a little bit. I'm not sure if this is injury-related, though. Of course, Forrest likes to preserve her for later in contests. Totten brings it to the center of the court. Gilbert now, three ball, got it. Gabrielle Gilbert, nice shot there, keeping CCC close. It's 11-10, 15-47 to go in the period. House to Boudin. Boudin trying to work it inside, nothing doing. She gets it back, trying to go baseline. Now works it into Williams. Williams back to Boudin. Pump fake, trying to go baseline again. Back to Williams. She's being guarded by Blair. Works her way up, air ball, but she was fouled. Erika Blair hit her on the arm as she was going for that shot, and that will put Tarika Williams, the 5'10 sophomore forward from Bay High School in Bay St. Louis, on the line. First one for Williams, no problem with that. 12 10, Lady Bobcats now up. 15 30 exactly to go here in the first period. Both teams. Playing pretty well right now. Gabrielle Gilbert has hit a couple of big shots. She has five points for the Lady Tigers. Erica Collins has a couple. She's on the bench, though. Second one rolls off the rim. Rebound Jones County, and it looks like Allison Johnson was fouled trying to go back up with it. That's going to go against Erika Blair. That's her second foul in about the last 30 seconds. Johnson now on the line. Knocks down the first. That'll make it 13-10. Allison Johnson, a 5'7 guard out of Birum and Terry High, has the Lady Bobcats up three once again. Takes a couple of bounces, fires another from the charity stripe, and knocks it down. It's a two-possession game once again. And now, Gilbert's inbound pass is picked off immediately. Starla Daggins couldn't convert, but Jones County does come up with the rebound. It's House, but she dribbles her way into trouble. Lady Tiger Swarmer, she gets it back to Boudain, but the ball goes out of bounds. Taylor Boudain was the intended target of that pass from House, but it looked like it hit off of Boudain's hand and went out of bounds. Gilbert's going to get another chance to inbound. Looking for Sisk or Totten. They're not really getting open for. And now Denitra Forrest four against this tough Jones County team. Gilbert trying to inbound. She will get it to Totten on the bounce. Nearly went out of bounds, but Totten manages to corral it. Now trying to come down the near side. She's being marked closely by House. Now loses it. House going for the steal. We'll have ourselves a jump ball. Some full court pressure from this Lady Bobcat team. It really has the Lady Tigers in fits right now. Jones County maybe getting that scouting report that the Lady Tigers have struggled with the press so far this year. Erica Collins is back in the game for the Lady Tigers. She gets that pass from Totten working her way to the block. Turnaround no good. Jones couldn't quite snag the rebound, so it's Jones County ball. Allison Johnson near side. She's picked up by Gilbert around the arc. Gives it over to House. House works it inside to Williams. Williams kicks it to the corner. Drive here. No good on the shot. There's a whistle on the floor. And it looks like Erica Collins is going to be cited here for a foul. Erica Collins, who struggled with fouls all year, fouled Starla Daggins there on the baseline drive. No, pardon. It looks like, it looks like they are going to call it on Daggins. Barton, they are not going to call that on Erica Collins. They're going to call it on Starla Daggins, and it is going to be called a ball going the other way. Gilbert is going to inbound it from the baseline. An offensive foul there for the Lady Bobcats, and now it looks like Daggins is going to go out of the game. Katie Parker subs back in. She was one of the Jones County starters. 
Gilbert looking for Sisk, gets it in on a bounce. Sisk, far side, she's trapped over there by a couple of Lady Bobcats. Gilbert gets it back, trying to spin her way out of trouble. She will get it over the timeline. Lady Tigers can relax a little bit. 17 on the shot clock, 14.30 on the game clock. Jones drives, gets to the bucket, and gets the roll. Ariel Jones muscling her way to the hoop. It's now a 14-12 contest. Lady Bobcats, other way, it's Boudain, the player of the week. She can't get that one to fall. Rebound, Gabrielle Gilbert. Gilbert around the back. Some fancy dribbling so far in this game from Gilbert. Lady Tigers need some of that to break the press. Now Gabby for three off the iron. Rebound, though, Jones trying to go back up. She's stifled by House, and it will go the other way. Jones County has the possession arrow and they will be able to inbound here under their basket. Three fouls right now for the Lady Tigers, two for the Lady Bobcats. We're just under 14 minutes here in the opening period. House working against Totten, drops it off to Johnson. Johnson, three ball, nails it. Allison Johnson with a pretty triple right there to make it a 17-12 game. Now the Lady Tigers turn it over. House picks it up, tries to finger roll, no good. Back up is Williams, though, and she gets it to go. 19-12, Lady Bobcats on top. Gilbert brings it right across that Bobcat seal. Now trapped on the three-point arc, tries to force a pass. It's picked off by Boudain. Boudain works it down court to Parker. Parker kicks it into Johnson. Johnson couldn't convert the easy layup, but Williams is there to scoop it up. She can't convert it, gets her own rebound again, and finally gets it to go. 21-12, Lady Bobcats starting to open up a little bit of breathing room here. Totten far side, beats her woman, pulls it back, lets the Lady Tigers get set up. CCC looking a little bit gassed, and Totten has it stolen here by Johnson. Ball was loose, but Jones County does come up with it. Boudain, the player of the week, driving key, little runner, nails it. Taylor Boudain, the match to Josta. She's tied up by Parker, now is looking for Sisk. Sisk grabs it. She has to get it across the line. That's 10 seconds. The whistle blew right as she was about to cross the stripe, but it is a violation for CCC, and they do turn the ball over. It's now in the hands of Jones County. Parker's going to inbound it here to Johnson. Allison Johnson back to Parker. Parker being guarded by Sis. She works it into Williams. Williams against Collins, pushes her out of the way, spins and nails it. The lead is now 13 for the Lady Bobcats. Sisk. Losing it here against the press. Once again, tied up. She manages manages to get it to Totten, who throws it to Collins. Collins pull up, gets the roll. Erica Collins electing not to go right to the hoop. Instead pulled up, but got it. 25-14 as we get under 12 minutes to go. Boudain, short jumper. That'll make it 27-14 in favor of the Lady Bobcats. Boudain having herself quite an evening so far. Gilbert is going to lose it near the sideline. It looks like it went out of bounds, and it is going to be Lady Bobcat ball. We'll check here momentarily how many points Boudain has, but again, she was the player of the week last week, and she's been having her way mostly here tonight. It looks like she is up to six. Right now, the Lady Bobcats are being led by Tarika Williams. She's number 22. Here it's Boudain, pull up, and that is her seventh and eighth points of the evening. 29-14, Lady Bobcats up. It was Williams in the early going. Now Boudain taking over. Totten beats the press. Little runner. She was fouled there. That was Boudain on the block. Totten's going to find herself at the charity stripe. Now this is the first time that the Lady Tigers have been at the free throw line this evening. Totten, no points, no rebounds, no assists yet tonight. Sisk has three points, that is, and one rebound. Totten will pick up her first bucket of the game, a one-point free throw right there, 29-15, 11-22 to go here in the first half. Totten, number two, out of Itabena. Takes a couple of bounces and fires again. That one's off the iron. Rebound, Boudain. She gets it outside to Parker, who brings it up, finds House. House kicks it back to Johnson. Johnson's three ball won't go. Parker rebound. Had it knocked out of her hand, and it looks like they are going to cite someone for an on the arm. Amber Sisk will be cited there. 
hit Parker on the arm. That is the fourth foul for the Lady Tigers in the half. Lady Bobcats inching ever closer to the double bonus. Simmons got the inbound, couldn't convert the short jumper. Totten on the rebound, tries far side, being pressured here by House. House looks like she bumped her there, and House is going to pick up a foul. Fourth foul on the Lady Bobcats. That is the first for Amy House. Sisk will inbound here for the Lady Tigers. Gets it to Totten. Totten brings it across the seal. It's Jones, Sisk, Totten, Collins, and the woman with the ball, Gilbert, who gives it to Jones. Back to Totten. Totten thinks three, goes to Sisk. Sisk has already nailed the triple tonight. Tries to go inside to Collins. That's knocked away. House comes up with it, trying to go the length of the court, and she will do just that. Amy House with a nice move at the end on the block to finish off the finger roll. Totten far side brings it up. Stops at the free throw line. Pulls up. Can't get a roll. Rebound, Parker. She's going to go down court to Boudain. Boudain pulls up and she's rejected by Erica Collins. Collins just swatted that thing like a pesky fly and sent it right into the wall. Erica Collins saying, no, 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 no. Not right now. Nice play from the big lady down low. Erica Collins has been doing it well all season, getting her blocks for the Lady Tigers. Gets one right there. Number 10, Aaliyah Bell now in the game for Jones. It's Katie Parker there on the shot. She misses it. Erika Blair grabs it, gives it over to Totten. Totten, far side, drives, pulls up to the block. No good. Rebound Jones County. It's Jada Simmons. She gets it to Bell. Bell has a two-on-one here, gives it to Parker. Parker pulls up. She was fouled on the shot by Gilbert and she will find herself on the line. Katie Parker, number 21 for JCJC, fouled by number 21 for CCC. Gabrielle Gilbert, the sophomore out of Pine Bluff. Parker, on the evening, has two points, one rebound, one assist. Looking to add to that point total here. Hits it off the back iron. Score will remain 31-15, 9.58 to go here in this first half. Jasmine Leonard checks into the game here for the Lady Tigers. And Parker knocks it down, but it looks like there was a violation. There was some sort of violation. Looks like someone stepped in the lane, and that will not count. Our score will remain 31-15. Erika Blair here on the inbound. She has Sisk, Gilbert, and Leonard in the backcourt. Gets it to Sisk. Sisk being guarded closely by Parker. Crosses her over. Gets it across the stripe. Lady Tigers getting better at beating that press. Gets it to Gilbert. Gilbert drives to the block. She is going to be fouled there on the shot attempt. We'll see who it goes against, and it will go against Aaliyah Bell. Aaliyah Bell puts Gabrielle Gilbert on the line. That's the fifth team foul for Jones County. That is the first for the newly checked in Aaliyah Bell. Gilbert on the season is having a heck of a run for CCC. Can't quite convert that first shot, but the forward out of Pine Bluff has scored over 100 points, is averaging 17 a game for the Lady Tigers. Second shot from the free throw, she knocks it down. It's back to a 15 point game. JC JC brings it down. Johnson over to Parker. Parker, no good. Pardon, that was Boudain. Rebound, Lady Bobcats. Collins grabs it after the missed putback. She fights to get a little bit of space, and it looks like it does go out of bounds. Erica Collins was smothered by a couple of Jones County defenders, including Boudain, and lost control, couldn't really do anything with it, kind of fell out of bounds, and now it's Jones County ball under the bucket. Inbounding, it's Parker. She gets it to Simmons, who knocks it down. Jada Simmons makes it a 33-16 game, 9.20 to go here in the first half. Sisk trying to bring it across. She'll take it herself. Guarded by Parker. 20 on the shot clock. She gets it over to Leonard. Leonard's going to try a triple, and she's going to bank it home. Jasmine Leonard making a withdrawal from the bank, and 
getting herself a three, her first points of this game. JC, JC can't convert on the other end. Collins grabbed the rebound, but it looks like she traveled. Erica Collins grabbed that thing, was trying to get more space for herself, just like she did last time. And now it does look like they are going to call a foul on Jones County. I thought that Collins traveled, but it is a an on-the-arm foul on Boudain. Boudain is going to exit here back onto the bench. Crystal Clay comes in for Jones County. Now it looks like they called... Leonard's three just moments ago, a two. So the correct score is 33-18. Cahoma once again fails to adequately get the ball in, throwing it away there. Totten couldn't quite handle the inbound pass, and now it's going to be Jones County ball under the bucket. Katie Parker works it in to Crystal Clay, and Clay... Puts in the easy layup. 35-18 now the score. Totten near side. Gets it to Arika Blair. Blair to Totten. Totten a three. Knocks it down. Lady Tigers shooting well from deep. And that was indeed a three. 35-21 now the score. Jada Simmons works it into Clay. Back to Simmons. Simmons no good there. Rebound Katie Parker over Amber Sis. She can't get it. Rebound once again Jones County though. And it's Crystal Clay putting in another two for herself and her team. She now has four points since entering the game. Gilbert brings it up for Cahoma. Looking for Totten, she has it. Another three attempt, no good. Erika Blair with the rebound, little turnaround. She was fouled before she got the shot up. And she's going to find herself on the line. Foul goes against Kristen Smith. That's her first personal, and that is the seventh team foul for Jones County. So it is going to be a one and one situation here for the Lady Tigers. Erika Blair to the stripe on the season. Blair shooting just 35% from the line. That'll increase her percentage though, knocks it down, and now she is going to get a chance for a second one. 37-22 is the score. It's Blair. Collins, Gilbert, Sisk, and Totten out there for the Lady Tigers. Erika Blair from Cleveland, Mississippi. The sophomore knocks that one down as well. Good little trip to the line. 37-23, now the score. Jones County controls. It's Kristen Smith, who the foul just went against. She gets it over to Johnson, works it to the corner. Now it's back in the hands of Smith. Smith tries to work it inside. It's picked off by Erica Collins. Collins, the six-foot center, leads the charge. Thinks better, gives it back to Totten. Totten over to Gilbert. Gilbert thinks three. Now is thinking drive. Pull up after the spin move. Too strong, no good. Katie Parker on the board. Parker far side trying to lead Clay. Too strong, though. Ball goes out of bounds. Crystal Clay was the intended target of that pass but just could not quite get a handle on him. Lady Tigers trying to continue to chip away at the lead. Sisk near side brings it down, brings it to the center of the court, into the key, nice little move, finger roll, hit off the front of the rim it looked like. Crystal Clay has the rebound. She gives it up. Now it's in the hands of Katie Parker. Parker tries to work it inside, but Cahoma is going to come up with a seal. Looked like Totten got a piece of it. Sis comes up with it. She leads Collins. Collins stops, pulls up there after the long pass and does get it to go. 37-25 Lady Tigers and the Lady Bobcats of Jones County Community College, or pardon, Jones County Junior College. Allison Johnson works it in there to Crystal Clay, and Clay has no problem finishing it off. 39-25, lead back up to 14 for the Lady Bobcats. It's Sisk bringing it across. She gives it back to Totten. Totten has filled that point guard role all year for the Lady Tigers. And guarded pretty closely. She gives it to Gilbert. Gilbert along three, knocks it down. Gabby Gilbert dialing long distance and the operator put her through 39-28 a more manageable deficit for the Lady Tigers but they don't have much answer for Clay inside who puts in an and one layup Crystal Clay did not start for Jones County but the sophomore from Meridian out of Southeast Lauderdale High has been an absolute force really since coming into the game about midway through the half she has a chance for the old-fashioned three-point play here. Erica Collins just picked up that foul. She grabs herself some bench. Clay, well short on that one. 
Rebound, Lady Tigers. It's Totten controlling. She's going to try for a home run pass. Sisk picks it up on a bounce. Trying to dribble her way out of trouble. She does. Gets it back to Totten. Works it to Ariel Jones. Jones to Sisk. Sisk. Outside trying to drive. Tries a little bounce pass to Blair. Blair struggling for the ball. Hit Katie Parker there, and it's going to go the other way. Erika Blair will be cited for the foul. Sort of took out Katie Parker around the knees there. It's officially called a push, and that is the seventh team foul on the Lady Tigers in the half that will put the Lady Bobcats on the line for a one and one. Erika Blair is going to go to the bench. She now has three fouls on the evening. Chantrell Williams will check in for the first time this evening as Parker prepares for her trip to the charity stripe. Parker on the one and one, knocks it down 42-28 now is the score. Remember the men's game will be right after this. They will take on the Region 23 champions, Jones County Junior College, looking to defend that title here in 2014-2015. The Tigers will try to deal them a loss starting at 7.30. Williams hands it off to Totten. Totten picked up by Bell, gets it across the timeline. Goes to the block, little pull up, and she knocks it down. Jossa Totten doing it all herself. 5.59 to go here in the half. Lady Tigers down 13. Jones County controls. It's Johnson working it into Clay, and Clay is fouled down low. Chantrell Williams got her there. Williams just checked into the game, hit her on the arm, and it is going to be two shots. Crystal Clay looks like she lost a contact there, and she's going to have to dust it off and uh, put it back in, you suppose, before she heads to the free throw line for a pair. Clay has been very, very good, as I was saying. We'll get you her official stats here momentarily. Clay, six foot one, though, the tallest member of the Jones County roster, knocks that one down. She's now up to seven points here on the evening. She'll get a chance for number eight right here. The second knocks it down. 45-30 is the score, 5.54 to go. Lady Tigers there struggling to get it in. They will get another chance, though. Plenty of banners around this Jones County Junior College gym. Great basketball program. Denitra Forrest, of course, was a part of it for four years as an assistant. Now at the reins here with Kahoma. She watches as Totten. Brings it to the wing, tries to throw it cross court to Williams, but that ball will find its way out of bounds. Joust to Totten, a little bit too strong, a little bit off the mark on that one-handed pass. With 5.43 to go, Jones County will bring it up. It's Johnson, works it into who else? Clay, but Clay dribbles it off her foot, and now the Lady Tigers will have it going the other way. Clay with a rare mistake here in the latter part of this first half. Totten. Gets it into Gilbert. Gilbert going down the far side right near the sideline. She beats her woman, tries to work her way to the block. A little spin move, too short. Williams rebound, back up. You got it, baby. 45-32 as Chantrell Williams grabs a board and puts it on in. Clay now in the key. Short little jumper, too short. Chantrell Williams grabs another rebound. That's her second of the game. Amber Sisk brings it down the near side. She finds Totten. Totten gets a pick from Williams, and she is fouled on that drive attempt. Like a block if I've ever seen one. And it will be on Terrico Williams. Williams, the 5'10 sophomore out of Bay St. Louis. Cited for the block. That is going to put Totten on the free throw line. 45-32 is the score. Totten, the first of two, can't get the roll on the season. Totten is shooting 72% from the charity stripe. Respectable number. Couldn't convert the first. But now with a chance here for number two. Each team with eight fouls. Totten spins it around the rim and gets it to go. 45-33 as we approach the five-minute mark. Wide open. Down low is Aaliyah Bell, and she has no problem converting that. Doesn't get much more open than that. Lady Tigers just lost sight of her. It's Totten. 
over to Williams. Back to Totten. Totten being marked by Bell. She gives it to Gilbert. Gilbert looking to work it inside to Jones. Instead puts it on the floor. She's tied up. We'll have a jump ball. And this should be Lady Tiger possession. That is the way that they are signaling. Lady Tigers will get it under the bucket. Totten preparing to inbound. Williams, Jones, Sisk, Gilbert. All out on the floor in those new black jerseys for CCC. Chantrell Williams trying to go up there. She is fouled after getting that bounce pass from Jasta. And it will go against Terrico Williams once again. That's her second. And really her second in about the last minute or so. Chantrell from the free throw stripe. Knocks down the first. 47-34 now is your score. 4.41 to go here in the first half. Looks like Williams is going to sub out of the game here for the Lady Bobcats. She grabs some bench after committing a couple of fouls. Chantrell Williams, once again, she knocks it down. That'll make it 47-35 on the season. Williams shooting well from the free throw line. Getting better as the season goes on. Now closer to 50%. Foul here is going to go on the Lady Tigers. It's going to be an on the arm call. And it looks like it'll go against Amber Sisk. Denitra Forrest was not happy with that call. That is for sure. But Katie Parker, number 21, who was attempting that short little shot, is going to get a couple of attempts here from the free throw line. Parker with the first, rattles at home. That'll make it 48-35. Katie Parker, number 21, 5'7", a sophomore out of Laurel. Attended high school in Northeast Jones. She won't get the roll on that one. Ariel Jones tries to pull down the rebound. It'll be a jump ball, and it is going to remain on this end. Ariel trying to corral that one, just could not quite get it cleanly, and Jones County tied her up. 4.35 to go on the game clock here. Jones County tries to work it in. Chantrell Williams ties up Jada Simmons. We have another jump ball, and this time it's going to be going out. Lady Tiger ball. Lady Bobcats still using that full court press. They used it very effectively the first half of the period. Lady Tigers seem to have figured it out, though. It's Gilbert bringing it down. Beats a couple. Gives it to Williams. Williams on the drive, and it looks like she double dribbled. Williams was looking for a blocking call, but she herself is cited for that double. And now it's going to be Jones County going out. Each team nearly in the double bonus, nine fouls apiece. Allison Johnson kicks it over to Jada Simmons, works it into Bell. Bell puts it up and gets it to go. 50-35, lead back up to 15 for the Lady Bobcats. It's Totten far side. And she is fouled. Looks like Aaliyah Bell, who just got those points, is going to be cited there for a block. No real doubt about that one. It's clearly moving her feet. This is going to put Totten on the line. Totten, the 72% free throw shooter, knocks that one down. 50-36 now is the score. Totten. Once again from the stripe. Lady Tigers in the double bonus, and Totten takes full advantage, knocking down both. Four minutes to go here in the half. It's House, House to the hoop, finger roll, no good. Lady Tiger rebound, it's Totten bringing it down the near side. She's looking back to Sis, gives it to her. Three ball, no good. Rebound though, Gilbert who came streaking out of nowhere, she puts it up and in. A layup for Gabby Gilbert, who's turning in another great game for the Lady Tigers. 50-39 now is the score. Jones County is going to head to the line to try to cut into that. Aaliyah Bell was fed on the block, went up for the layup, and was fouled there, fouled there by Chantrell Williams. Williams, the sophomore from Greenwood, Mississippi, commits the 10th team foul for the Lady Tigers. Bell from the stripe misses the first. Lady Tigers have taken something of a bite out of this Lady Bobcat lead. They've reduced it to 11. Hopefully they can get it down to single digits before the break. We're 341 away from these two teams heading to the locker room. 51-39, now the score as Bell goes one of two. 
It's Totten getting the pass from Sisk, returning the favor. Sisk for three. It looks like she was fouled there. And she's going to head to the line. They're going to call it a long two, so it'll be a pair of attempts here for Amber Sisk. Looks like her toes were right on the three-point line. So it'll just be a couple for Amber Sisk. Sisk, the sophomore out of Oxford, Mississippi, a former Dandy Dozen selection. Has a sister who plays at Ole Miss. Comes from a good basketball family and is hoping to play D1 herself. In the future, knocks down the first. Lead back to 11. Sisk, raindrop there, 51-41. Now the score, Jones County brings it up. It's Johnson working her way inside. She's stripped by Williams who gives it to Gilbert. Gilbert trying to lead a push. She has Totten, gives it to her. Totten three ball, in and out. Rebound, Williams saves it. She gets it to Jones. Jones, little spin move, and she's fouled. She's headed to the line for a pair. 3.15 to go. Lady Tigers really showing some signs of life here. Excellent defense on our end by Chantrell Williams. She got it to Gilbert. Todd nearly knocked down a triple. Some great hustle by Williams to save the ball. Now Jones on the line, knocks down the first. Lead down to single digits for the first time in quite a while. Jones, number 20, once again, nails it. Ariel Jones, very effective in that game against Arkansas Baptist a few weeks ago. She had 21 in that contest. Knocks down a pair of free throws there. It's Parker trying to drive. She lost it, and it is going to be Lady Tiger ball. More smiles coming from the Lady Tiger bench. Denitra Forrest now happy with what she sees. Sis gets it into Totten. Totten using the speed going down the far side. She pulls it back, gets it to Gilbert. That pass though is going to be picked off. Jada Simmons with the steal. Jones County drops it back. It's Bell who works it forward to Simmons. Simmons on the land. And it's 53-43. Lady Bobcats throw a little bit of water on this Lady Tiger fire. Let's see if they can get the momentum back. Jones on the drive! Little finger roll, no good. Circus shot wouldn't fall. Simmons trying to push it. She throws a long pass that will go out of bounds. The intended recipient was Allison Johnson. Lady Tigers will have the ball on the baseline. 2.37 to go, 10 point game. Totten looking for someone. She finds Gilbert. Gilbert crosses over her defender, House. Brings it to the far side. Nearly trapped, tries to get it to Sisk. Sisk picks it up off the ground. Gets it to Jones. Jones laying attempt, no good. Gets her own rebound, back up. You got it, baby. 53-45. JC, JC now only up by eight. It's House bringing it up for the Lady Bobcats. She's stopped by Totten, who guards her closely. Now it's Bell. Over to Johnson. Johnson gets it to Parker in the corner. Parker looking for Bell on the block, puts it on the parquet. Gets it back to House. House over to Jada Simmons. Simmons being marked by Jones. Now she finds Parker cutting in the key. And Parker gets the roll. Katie Parker, number 21, makes it a 10-point lead once again for the Lady Bobcats. A minute 48 to go here in the first half. Totten just trying to get it in. She gets it to Gilbert. Gilbert working against Amy House. Gets it to Sisk. Sisk in the key. Nice little bounce pass to a streaking Ariel Jones. You got it. 55-47. A buck 30 to go here in the first period. Lady Bobcats pushing. It's Simmons. Simmons working against Jones. Little body contact there. She gets it to Bell. Bell on the block. Can't get the roll, but does get the foul. Aaliyah Bell headed to the line. We'll bring you her free throws right after this here on Sports.com. Bell off the back iron, cannot convert the first. That is Aaliyah Bell on the stripe. She was fouled by Chantrell Williams. Williams now with three personal fouls in the game. JC, JC lead, just eight. Lady Tigers can continue to whittle away at it for another minute 21 before we head to the locker rooms. Bell knocks down the second, lead now nine for Jones County. Jones. Gives it to Totten. Totten brings it across the timeline. She feeds it to Collins. It hits off Collins' hand, though, and it will be Jones County ball other way. Lady Bobcats here on the inbound, 1.15 to go. Both teams in the double bonus. 
House brings it up. She kicks it over to Bell. Tries to work it inside, but Sisk grabs it. Sisk with a nice little steal there. Across the halfway point. She's picked up by Parker, gives it to Collins. Collins, high post, turn around. You got it. Erica Collins making her presence back in this game known. 56-49, now is your score. House the other way, no good. Clay, rebound, back up, no good. House, a rebound herself. Now it's Clay with a board, and she is fouled, trying to go back up. Another foul on the Lady Tigers. This one is going to go against Gabrielle Gilbert, and it does put Clay on the line. We'll go ahead and take a brief break and then bring Clay, bring you Clay's free throws right after this on KahomaSports.com. Pardon, folks. We'll actually go ahead and stay with you here for a moment. She misses the first, and now we will see what she can do with the second. Second one from Clay. Knocks it down. 45 seconds to go. Sisk Kicks it up to Totten. Totten far side. Gets it back to Sisk. Nearly intercepted by Parker. Sisk over to Collins. Collins has that knocked away. But Gilbert gets a steal back from Jada Simmons. Goes on the block. Puts it up. She is going to draw the foul. Couldn't get the shot to go. But she does find herself now on the free throw line with 28 seconds to go here in the half. Gabby Gilbert made a nice steal on Jada Simmons, took it to the block, pulled up, and now has a couple from the charity stripe. We'll go ahead and check on Gabrielle Gilbert's stat line here tonight. But the sophomore from Pine Bluff really turning in a nice evening. And it looks like the stat line supports that. She has 12 points to go along with two rebounds. The point forward once again showing off her nose for the bucket. 28 seconds to go. Gilbert off the backboard and off of the iron and she will not get that. Gilbert once again. 57-49 is your score, folks. Gilbert couldn't convert either. Jones County trying to rebuild a more sizable lead. It's House going over to Bell. Bell puts it on the parquet back to House. She's being guarded by Totten. House works it inside. No, it's picked off by Sisk. Ball is on the floor, but picked up by Clay, who puts it in to make it 59-49. Five seconds to go now. Gilbert trying to bring it up court. She gets it to Totten. Totten, long desperation three. No good. And we're headed. Go ahead and give you a brief look and go over them here in a minute. Lady Bobcats do control it. They are being paced right now by Williams and Clay. That's Tarika Williams and Crystal Clay, who each have 11. Here it's Allison Johnson, who can't get a three to go. Rebound there by Parker. She couldn't quite keep it in, though. Looked like her foot hit out of bounds, and it will be Lady Tiger Ball going the other way. Johnson Totten brings it up for Kahoma, trying to beat Starla Daggins. She gets it to Gilbert. Gilbert puts it on the parquet. Goes to back to Totten. Totten picked up closely by Daggins. Spins out of trouble. Gets it to Sisk. Sisk, the marksman. A little bounce pass there, but right to a Jones County player. It's Simmons who gets it to Boudain, and Boudain is going to hit that layup. No problem there for the Mac JC Player of the Week for last week. That is Taylor Boudain. Sisk now brings it to the middle of the floor. Tries to find Collins, who has eight points. She is rejected on that attempted pass to Ariel Jones. It's Katie Parker the other way. Gets it to Boudain. Boudain, mid-range jumper, knocks it down. Jones County coming out strong out of the gate. And the same name being played over the public address system. And it's got me dancing a little bit, folks. Love to be dancing to some Lady Tiger buckets, though, here momentarily. So far, they've been outscored 4 to nothing in the half. Gilbert... Gets the inbound pass from Totten. Nearly has it knocked away. Now gives it back to Josta. Gilbert is leading the team in points so far in this game. Has 12, turning in another nice contest. Totten is going to be stripped there by Johnson. Johnson goes the other way. It's four on two for Jones County. Simmons tried to finish it off. Boudain, though, is going to clean up her mess and put it in. 65-49. 
Lady Tigers looking a little bit gassed. It was a very short halftime break. Usually it's about 15, maybe even 20 minutes. Here in Ellisville, though, it was only 10. Sisk gives it to Collins. Collins spin move into the key, pull up too short. Boudain on the rebound. Lady Bobcats trying to push it. Boudain, the six foot center, in control of the ball, being guarded by Gilbert, gives it over to Johnson. Johnson swings it across to Simmons. Simmons brings it back around. It's in the hands of Johnson, back over to Dagan. Starla Dagans works it inside, and a nice cut by Allison Johnson leads to some JC JC points. Jones County on an eight to nothing run. Gilbert having some trouble getting it up. She does get it to Totten. Lady Tigers have numbers, four on three. Sisk trying to work it inside. Things better of it. Now tries to get it to Collins. It's poked away by Boudain. Collins picks it up to the block. Nothing doing there but an air ball. Jada Simmons picks it up. She's in the corner being trapped by Gilbert. Gilbert gets a hand on it and knocks it out of bounds. 17-21 to go. It's going to be Jones County ball in their own corner. Simmons looking to inbound. She's going to get it into Daggins. Daggins picked up immediately by Gilbert. Gilbert is beat. Daggins finds a way to the hoop, and Erica Collins is waiting for her. Collins with a monster chop right there. She will be cited for a foul, a resounding physical foul for Collins. Collins, of course, such an interesting story, was on the Lady Tiger team in 2011-2012. Took a couple of years off to raise her young son. But back in a Lady Tiger uniform, doing quite well this season. Averaging almost 20 and 10, but has really found some foul trouble so far this year. Collins, I believe, now is up to three in the game. That was Daggins knocking down the first. Fires again and cannot get the roll, but she will get her own rebound. Tries to go back up. Collins, once again, though, waiting for her. And it looks like she will be cited for another foul. Erica Collins, another on the arm foul. And that is her third. Thought the previous was her third, but she does have three after that one. Jones County has built up a 19 point advantage. Daggins trying to add to that. First of two, perfect swish. 69 49, here to go. Lady Tigers, two team fouls in the half, both on Collins, who's back defending, or pardon, is. All the way at the Jones County hoop, looking for the long outlet pass. 70-49 now. Staggins knocks down both, three of four from the line now in the half. Gilbert trying to get it in to Totten. That's knocked away by Daggins. And the Lady Tigers look like they're once again being suffocated by this Lady Bobcat press. Not easy to break it, folks. Gilbert trying to get it in. Tries to find Sisk. Does in the corner. Amber brings it up. Bounce passes over to Totten. Totten. Briefly loses control, but maintains her composure. Gets it over to Gilbert. Gilbert trying to drive key. Loses control herself. Now kicks it back to Sisk. It was partially blocked on the pass attempt. Now Sisk bounces it to Totten. Totten for three. Well short. And it is Allison Johnson on the rebound. Johnson far side. Beats Ariel Jones. Only two back for the Lady Tigers, and the Lady Bobcats will make them pay. Jada Simmons gets the dish and gets the bucket. 72-49. She'll have a chance for a three-point play. She was fouled by Totten as she went up. Josta Totten committing the third foul of the half for the Lady Tigers. That is Totten's third, personally. No good there on the free throw from Simmons. Ball was knocked out of bounds, and it looks like they are going to say that it will remain in the Lady Bobcats' possession. 16.43 to go in this one. Lead up to 23, which I believe is the biggest of the game for the Lady Bobcats. They've really poured it on. Lady Tigers still have not scored a basket here in the second half. Looking a little bit worn out after that very brief halftime break. It's Simmons, high post. She gives it back to Johnson. Johnson for three. Knocks it down. 75-49 now the score. J.C. J.C. approaching that century mark. And now they're going to get another steal on the inbound. Simmons gets a dish on the block. Tried to put it up. Couldn't get it. And it looks like there's going to be an over-the-back call on Jones County. Allison Johnson went over a Lady Tiger back, trying to get that rebound. Sisk on the inbound, tries to get it to Jones. She does get it there. Jones 
Looks like she's going to travel, trying to make a stop. Looks like she was halfway between trying to dish over to Erica Collins and maybe thinking about going for a shot. She ends up walking. Now it's Lady Bobcat ball the other way. Starlet Daggins goes down low to Katie Parker, and Parker herself is going to travel there down on the low post. Lady Tiger basketball once again. Lady Bobcats will put the press on. Totten looking for Sisk. She finds her. Back to Totten. Totten using that speed to turn a corner. Loses control, but manages to get it back. She kicks it back to Sisk. Sisk over to Gilbert. Gilbert tries to work it into Jones. That ball gets past Jones and goes out of bounds. Another turnover for the Lady Tigers. We'll show you those stats from the first half while we have a brief break here, folks. And you can see that the Lady Tigers committed 13 turnovers in the first half. They've really struggled to hold on to the ball here in the second. I believe they are approaching 20 in that turnover category. It's Daggins bringing it up. She's marked by Jasmine Leonard. Leonard, the Alabama native, checking into the game for Cahoma. It's Boudain working against Collins. Low post, turnaround hook, no good. Collins ferociously grabs the rebound. Bounce pass over to Josta. Josta, far side. Picked up immediately by Aaliyah Johnson. Or pardon, Allison Johnson. Now spins, pulls up, no good. Leonard on the rebound. She can't get it to go. Collins cleans up the mess, though and gets the first bucket of the half for CCC. 75-51, 15-25 to go. Daggins on the drive and a little circus finger roll. Impressive play by Starla Daggins, number 12, the 5'10 sophomore out of Basefield, and Basefield high. Sisk dribbles into a trap just across the line. It's going to be Daggins here, called for a foul. Looks like she tripped Sisk. And that is just the first for the Lady Bobcats. No, pardon, it is actually the second for the Lady Bobcats here in the half, and that is the third on Daggins. Lady Tigers will stack it up. Sisk inbounding here right in front of the scorer's table. Totten turns a corner, gets to the low post, too strong off the glass. Collins with the rebound back up, no good. Rebound by Simmons. Stolen by Jones, though, for Cahoma. Totten... Near the baseline, looks like she stepped out or the ball went out. Got the pass from Jones, but it did go out of bounds. It'll be Lady Bobcat ball other way. Amy House brings it up for the Lady Bobcats. She works it inside to Boudain. Boudain in the corner. Nice little pass there to Johnson, who couldn't finish it off. Jones gobbles up the air ball, gives it over to Totten. It's Totten, Jones, Leonard, Collins, and Sisk. Nice little bounce pass there from Totten to Collins, and Collins finishes it off. Erica Collins was at eight at the half. She now 7-53 is the score. Jones County firmly in control. They have thoroughly outplayed Cahoma here in the second half, outscoring the Lady Tigers 18-4. It's House racing up the far side. Little runner can't get the roll. Rebound Jones County, nothing doing for Tariqa Williams. Rebound once again, though, Jones County, and it is Bell who puts it in. Aaliyah Bell, the 5'8 freshman, fighting her way to a short little jumper there to increase the lead to 26 for the Lady Bobcats. Totten with some nice dribbling goes to the hole and is fouled on the shot. She'll find herself on the charity stripe. Jasta Totten, the Itabena native. Now to the stripe, shooting 73% on the season. Todd in a couple of dribbles, and she will put up the first. Gets it to go. 79-54 is the score. Sisk, Leonard, Totten, Collins, and Jones out there for Cahoma. Totten once again. Off the back iron, rebound Jones County. That is number 21, Katie Parker, who will bring it up. Long pass to Bell, and Bell is followed by Jasmine Leonard on the layup attempt. Leonard, from Jasper, Alabama, race back. Leonard is a member of the track team, the newly reformed track team. Got back with some speed there, but unfortunately did commit the foul on Bell, who now finds herself on the line for a pair. First one from Bell, no good. Pretty good evening so far for Aaliyah Bell. Eight points, one rebound. His Jones County team really plays in two platoons. Pretty equal playing time across the board. 
No one's going to put up a 30-point game, but several players in double figures or approaching double figures. Bell now at nine after knocking that one down to make it 80 to 54. 1354 to go here in this one, folks. Remember, the men's game will start right after this. Please do click over here on KahomaSports.com. Totten has that block, but right there to grab it is Ariel Jones, who puts it off the glass to make it 80-56. First points not scored by Erica Collins in the second half for Kahoma, who now force a turnover. Totten will bring it up. Working against House, she beats her, gets it to Gilbert. Gilbert for three, no good. Rebound Katie Parker. Looks like she was fouled by Erica Collins. That'll be the fourth on Collins. We'll see how long she's going to remain in the game. Chantrell Williams saw action in the first half. Certainly a chance now that Collins has four that she will return. Looks like the Lady Tiger bench is signaling that they think Erica Collins has three, but the official score is going to say that Collins has four, and now Williams is going to come back into the game. Chantrell Williams from Greenwood, Mississippi, checks back in for the Lady Tigers. 13.29 to go. Daggins here on the inbound. Lady Tigers pressing. Daggins gets a return pass. She beats Gilbert going down the key. And she does take it all the way, 82-56, now the score. Gilbert crosses over a defender, trying to break this stifling press. Gets it across the timeline. She's being guarded closely by Johnson. Now looking for someone, holding it near the sideline. Finally gets it to Jones. Jones for three. Almost got the bounce, but no good. Daggins on the board. Long outlet pass to Clay, and Clay misses the finish but there to put it in is Taylor Boudin. Boudin continues her big night. Lost her headband putting that thing back and we'll have a whistle so she can get that back and it looks like Gabrielle Gilbert needs to tie her shoe. 12.48 to go in regulation. Five team fouls in the period for the Lady Tigers three for the Lady Bobcats. Gilbert trying to get it in. Gets it to Totten. Totten racing down the near side. It hit off someone's foot. Totten, excellent hustle trying to get to it. Chantrell Williams also trying to grab it and it looks like it's going to be Lady Bobcat ball going the other way on possession. Totten lost it, but you can't falter for a lack of effort, folks. She dove after that basketball trying to get to it. Chantrell Williams continued the nice hustle trying to grab it herself, but the possession arrow Simply not in the Lady Tiger favor right now. Referees will converse briefly. Might be some sort of dispute about that. We'll go ahead and take a short break while they talk things over, folks. We think it'll be Jones County ball here in a moment, but we will find out for sure right after this brief message here on KahomaSports.com. Welcome back to Ellisville, Mississippi, folks. Jones County, but it does look like they are going to say that it is Lady Tiger Ball. Looks like the possession arrow over on the scorer's table. It's exciting. December the first contest. It was a little bit closer at halftime. Lady Tigers trailed by just 10 going into the break, but since then have been beaten down by the Lady Bobcats. We have more dispute. Lady Tigers are looking to inbound it looked like there might have been a little bit of extracurricular activity over there as the players were stacking up but Sisk will be the one who is going to throw it in you can see her there on the bottom of the screen she gets it into Totten Josta brings it across the timeline she's being she's being marked by Daggins trying to go to her right trying to get that pick from Williams doesn't get far with it now she gives it over to Gilbert Gilbert leading scorer at halftime for the Lady Tigers in the corner, has dri dribbled herself into a mess, and now she loses it. Other way, it's Johnson. Allison Johnson can't get a roll, but looks like she was pushed there on the layup attempt. It'll be a foul on Josta Totten, who raced back to meet her counterpart, the point guard, Allison Johnson, a 5'7 sophomore out of Terry High in Birum, Mississippi. 12-17 to go, folks. Johnson finds herself on the line. That is the sixth team foul of the half for the Lady Tigers. Johnson cannot convert the first. 
About a five hour drive from Clarksdale. Tigers, Lady Tigers came up on the CCC bus. Departed about 10 o'clock, stopped for lunch. Got here, oh, a little bit after three o'clock. Johnson knocks down the second, 85-56. Totten gets the pass from Gilbert. It's a good ride out. Teams watched a couple of movies. Spirits are high, though both teams are under 500. Boudain tried to save that one, hit it off of Sisk. Amber is going to inbound it here for the Lady Tigers. Boudain stepped out before she hit it off of Sisk there on the save. Now it's Totten trying to cross over, loses it. Williams nearly comes up with it. Daggins ties her up, and it will be possession. Jones County, Lady Bobcats. Laughing a little bit. Daggins was dragged a little bit there as she clung for dear life to that ball. Now she tries to make an entry pass that's broken up by Jones. Sisk ends up with it, trying to bring it down the near side. Goes over to Gilbert. Gilbert being marked by Johnson. Goes down the left side to Totten. Totten for three. Gets a nice roll and makes it an 85-59 game. Looks like they're actually going to call that a long two, so it's 85-58. Jones County responds right back. It's Daggins on the layup, 87-58. Now the score. Gilbert will inbound on the baseline. 11-15 to go. Almost a 30-point lead for Jones County. Totten works it to Chantrell Williams. Williams to the near block, she's fouled an and one layup for Chantrell Williams. Nice play right there for the Cleveland native. Took a bit of a circuitous route to the block that was a little bit further away from her, but it pays off as she has the chance for a three point play. A couple of substitutions here for the Lady Bobcats. It does look like Kristen Smith will sub out and Katie Parker is going to sub back in. Chantrell Williams on the line. Williams a sub here in the second half for Erica Collins. And she will convert the old-fashioned three-point play. Lead back down to 26. Long pass here from Daggins to Boudain. And Boudain finishes it off. Daggins showing off the court vision. Finding Boudain from about 40 or so feet away. Now the pass by Cotton to Leonard was not successful. It goes out of bounds. Jones County will inbound on their end. It's Daggins being guarded by the Jasper, Alabama native Jasmine Leonard. Leonard has been getting about 10 to 15 minutes of playing time a game. Katie Parker there can't convert a layup. Rebound Chantrell Williams. And it looks like Williams was shoved. That foul goes against Katie Parker. And so the Lady Tigers will get the ball under their own hoop. Fifth team foul of the half for the Lady Bobcats. That is the third for Parker, who breaks up that entry pass there by Totten. It'll remain Lady Tiger ball, 10.43 to go. 28-point lead for Jones County. They'll fall back out of the press. Totten calling out the play. Tries to drive, little bounce pass toward Leonard is picked off, and now it's Johnson other way, easy layup. That's a layup drill finish, folks. JC JC now has a 30-point lead. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that it will be a running clock from here on out as long as they maintain that 30-point advantage. Totten being guarded by Daggins, trying to spin a little bit, looking for someone, finds Sisk, nearly picked off, but Sisk turns, Thinks about pulling up, goes to Williams. Williams is blocked down low by Boudain, and Boudain does pick up the foul. Looks like she got a little bit of Chantrell Williams' arm, and now Williams, for the second and third times, this half will find herself on the line. Williams shooting 44% from the charity stripe coming into this game. She's been fairly good. I believe she is three for three in this contest from the line. Make that three of four as she misses that one. Clock has stopped. Perhaps I was mistaken, folks. Maybe not a running clock. Williams will take the second here of two. It looks like Allison Johnson has subbed out of the game. Amy House back into the game for Jones County. Williams misses the second. Rebound there by Williams, who gets it over to Katie Parker. Parker near side. Kicks it over to Boudain. Boudain thinks three, misses it. 
And Jones County does come up with a rebound. Boudain ends back up with it. She draws a foul there on the short jump attempt. And now the Lady Bobcats will find themselves on the line once again. That foul went on Josta Totten. Totten with her fourth, and that is the seventh of the half for the Lady Tigers. So Lady Bobcats will be in the bonus from here on out. Boudain knocks down the first. We'll check on her stat line here. Boudain, again, was the Mac JC Player of the Week last week. Now with 20 points as she knocks that one down to make it a 32-point JC, JC lead. Gabrielle Gilbert, the leading scorer for Kahoma, is going to check back in. Lady Tigers have been outscored 34-12 to here in the second half. A dominant performance out of the locker rooms by Jones County. Again, they were the MAC JC Region 23 champions last year. And now they are showing that they are definitely contenders for that crown once again. Sisk working it inside. Bounce pass to Gilbert. Gilbert short jumper no good. Chantrell Williams on the rebound. Gets it and one. Chantrell Williams with some nice work on the glass. She'll find herself at the free throw line once again. Shooting 60% on the evening. Her season totals creeping up toward 50%. Williams from Cleveland, Mississippi. Home, of course, of the Delta State Statesman. And she knocks it down. Second three-point play of the night for Williams. Lead back under 30 for Jones County. It's Daggins behind the back at the high post. Gets it to Boudain. Boudain back to Daggins. Daggins will just hold. 9.09 to go. Now cutting is Parker. Parker is going to be cited for a travel. She was tied up by Ariel Jones. It was all ball by Jones. And Parker moved her feet a half step too many times. 9.05 to go. Lady Tigers will inbound. Sisk just bouncing it off to Totten. Seven team fouls for each of these squads here in the half. Sandra Sumrall, the head coach for Jones County, didn't seem extremely pleased with her team in the first half, but seems happier. It's no longer pacing the sideline, just sitting on the bench. Denitra Forrest is up on her feet over there for the Lady Tigers, trying to figure out some way that her team can get back in it. They turn it over again. It's Daggins going the length of the floor. It looked like she might have double dribbled there, but no whistle. 95-64 is the score. Of course, Forrest was an assistant for Sumrall, who is now assisted by Brooke Eccles and Lauren Douglas on that Jones County bench. Gilbert working her way toward the basket. Looks like she drew a foul there. And it will be a one and one attempt here for Gabrielle Gilbert. Looked like that was on Amy House, number four. And Gilbert, the Pine Bluff, Arkansas native, now finds herself at the stripe. Gilbert, another excellent game, but we've sort of come to expect that from her. Had 12 points at halftime. She rattles that one home to make it a 95-65 game. Gilbert, a sophomore, is really who the Lady Tigers seem to lean on when Collins gets in foul trouble. If Collins exits the game, Gilbert sort of the go-to point forward. Misses that one there. Jones, though, on the rebound, no good. Nearly saved by Jones County, but it will be Lady Tiger ball there under the hoop. 8-12 to go. Thanks so much for being with us here in Ellisville, Mississippi, folks. Joss to Totten, inbounds to Collins. Collins over to Sisk. Sisk to Totten in the corner. Long two, knocks it down. Joss to Totten with the long shot there, sinking it. Boudain struggles to control other end. She gets it to Parker, though, who kicks it over to House. House now works it to Simmons, and Simmons finishes it off with a mid-range jumper. 97-67, 7.45 to go. Jones County closing in on triple digits. Totten across the line trying to set something up. She gets it over to Sisk. Now that is intercepted, or at least knocked out of bounds. You can see that large mural there, folks, in the background of this shot. Jones County basketball players holding the Rawlings basketballs. Very nice gym here in Ellisville. Very impressive facility they have. 
Gilbert finishes that one off for the Lady Tigers, 97-69. Now is the score. Long home run pass here to Boudain, but she's rejected by Collins, who just slammed the door right in her face. Boudain got the mess, but lost it there down to the baseline. And now Sisk is going to inbound it for the Lady Tigers. Erica Collins, it doesn't matter if they're up 28 or they're down 28. She's still going hard. Looks like she's sort of limping. We saw her kind of clutching her knee earlier in the game, but still playing hard, still playing physical. Totten succumbs to the pressure, throws that one away, and it will be going the other direction. Seven and change to go, folks. Lady Bobcats firmly in control, both of the ball and of the contest. We have a whistle on the f inbounded from the wrong place. Jones is going to have to inbound from near the scorer's table, not from the corner. Daggins will once again get, get it as we get under seven minutes to go here. Being guarded by Gilbert. It's Gilbert, Totten, Jones, Collins, and Sisk. Collins beat there by Boudain, who makes a nice move there on her and finishes off the short jumper. 99-69 now is the score. Fairly large crowd here tonight, folks. A couple hundred for the ladies game. They've turned out to see their team put on a show in the second half. Gilbert misses that turnaround spin little jumper. Simmons tried to get it to Daggins. It was nearly picked off by Tottens. Now Daggins finds House who finishes it off on the baseline. And that'll get the Lady Bobcats over the century mark. They're now at 101. CCC still down at 69 as we approach six minutes. Totten standing on that Bobcat seal. Marked closely by Daggins. Tries to go left, gets a pick from Collins. Now goes to Sisk. Sisk trying to drive, gets down to the block. Amber Sisk, way to get to the basket. Cutting like a steak knife and finishing it off. 5.49 to go, lead back down to 30. Amber Sisk has had some great finishes. She's not the biggest or the tallest. She is just five foot four, but can really get to the bucket. Jones County, though, responds right back. It's 103-71. Sisk, our Athlete of the Week from a few weeks ago. Of course, Erica Collins, another Kahoma Community College Athlete of the Week. Please do check homasports.com to see who wins the honor this week. Josta Totten with a nice little pull up there. Totten found her way into the key and finished it off. Now a steal for Kahoma. It ends up with Gilbert. Gilbert trying to drive. She has it knocked, knocked away by House. It will be Lady Tiger Ball on the Lady Bobcat end. We have a couple of subs, folks. We'll go ahead and take a short break and then be right back here on KahomaSports.com. Lady Bobcats sending in some fresh legs, but it is the Lady Tigers inbounding it. Sisk has it now, finds Totten. Totten, corner three. No good. Rebound. Gilbert, she saves it, but it looks like she steps on the line. I thought she had it, but the whistle came in, and Gabby Gilbert did step out. It's going to be Lady Bobcat ball. They'll be on the attack. It is Erika Blair, Amber Sisk, Chantrell Williams, Gabby Gilbert, Josta Totten right now for the Lady Tigers. We're under five in this one. Forced entry pass there for the Lady Bobcats. They do maintain possession. It's House looking for someone. She gives it over to Johnson. Johnson tries to drive. Now back to House. House puts it on the parquet. Gets it over to Bell. Bell to Parker. Five on the shot clock. She's stripped. Totten goes the other way. Totten picks it up. Goes to Sisk. Sisk thinks three and is going to be fouled by Parker. Katie Parker... Hit Sisk on the arm as Sisk, the sharpshooter, was pulling up. Amber's going to find herself on the charity stripe. Sisk, just with that pretty finish at the hoop moments ago. Now with a three chance attempt at the line. She knocks down the first on the season. Amber is shooting 63% from the line. Believe she is one for one now on the night. Make that two for two. 103.75 now the score as Sisk puts in a couple of raindrops, puts them in the bucket. 428. She'll go for a third attempt here. 
And she knocks it down, a perfect three of three there for Amber Sisk, lead down to 27. Lady Bombcats bring it up. It's number 20, Allison Johnson. She kicks it to the corner. House controls being guarded by Totten. Gets it over to Bell, who finds Johnson. Johnson, a runner, rattles it home. Pretty play there by Allison Johnson, pulling up at the high post and getting it to go. 4.05 to go, Totten brings it across the seal. Gets a pick from Chantrell Williams. Now works it inside of Williams. Williams, little running layup, no good. Erika Blair tries to grab the rebound. She saves it. Back out to Gilbert. Gilbert to Totten. Totten thinks three. No good. Chantrell trying to come up with another board. She does. Gets it to Sisk. Sisk, pump fake. Little runner. No good. Erika Blair can't grab the board. It goes to Jones County instead. And it's House the other way. Sisk strips her as she tries to make a streak toward the bucket. It's a loose ball. Jones County comes up with it. It ends up in the hands of Johnson. Now it's Parker. Parker, wide open layup. And that'll make it 107-76. 10 at halftime, but since then have been outscored 48 to 27. Gilbert here gives it to Todden. We're under three and a half minutes to go in this one. Josta will bring it up. Lady Tigers, I think it's safe to say, will fall to two and five on the season, one and three in conference play. The Lady Bobcats are going to move to six and one. Totten couldn't get that one. Ball rolls out of bounds, and it did hit off a Lady Bobcat last. So it will be Lady Tiger ball here on the baseline. Totten is going to try to inbound. She gets it to Gilbert. Gilbert in the corner, working against House. Nice spin move to the bucket. Finish it off, Gabby Gilbert. Great play by Gabby Gilbert, who's turning in another nice performance. That'll make it 107-78. Jones County works it inside. It's number 30, Kristen Smith, finishing it off to make it 109. If memory serves correct, this is the most points that the Lady Tigers have given up all season. We still have 240 to go. So we'll see what the final total for Jones County is. But they've had their way, especially in the second half, it seems like. Gilbert, turn around in the corner, no good. Rebound by Jones County. They'll push it. It is House going the other way. Tries an entry pass. That is partially blocked. Down low, it is number three, Mallory Odom. Recently checked into the game, finishing it off. 111-78 now is the score. Cotton picked up her dribble there and did travel, trying to make a nice little around the back move, but sort of stifled in the attempt. 2.05 to go, Lady Bobcats will have it. Once again, thank you so much for being with us here for the ladies game, folks. Please do click over to the men's game. We'll start at about five or 10 minutes after this one goes final. House. Brings it up, guarded by Totten, gets it over to Odom, who just scored the last bucket for Jones County. Now it's in the hands of Leah Bell. Bell over to Odom. Odom works it inside to Pitchin. Pitchin works it to Aaliyah Bell, who finishes it off. 113-78 now. 136 to go. Totten brings it up for the Lady Tigers. Gabby Gilbert, Erika Blair, Amber Sisk, Chantrell Williams also on the floor. We have a whistle on the floor. Looks like a foul away from the ball. That was on Arika Blair, and I think that that is Blair's fifth. Pardon, folks, that is actually only Blair's third. I thought that it was her fifth, though. She will not have to exit the game. 125 to go. Jones County brings it up. They try to work it inside. It's Haley Pitchin who drives it off to a streaking house who finishes it off and won. Amy House with a little backdoor cut there got the dish from Haley Pitchin and now the lead is 75. Now it looks like they are saying that that was Blair's fifth. I thought that that would be her fourth, but it is her fifth. She is going to have to come out of the game. Looks like Ariel Jones is going to sub in. Rika Blair knocked House out of the air as she was going in for that layup. House trying to finish off the three-point play here with a buck 19 to go. Biggest lead of the night for the Lady Bobcats. Williams grabs it off the front iron. No three-point three point play there for Amy House. Totten across the timeline. Goes to Sisk. Sisk puts it on the parquet. Finds herself in the corner. Picks it up. Goes inside to Williams. Williams can't finish it off. She grabs her own rebound, though. Goes back up. 
And another chance for an and one for Chantrell Williams. This is her third opportunity for an and one play here this evening. Has been effective on the glass in relief of Erica Collins, who once again got into foul trouble in the game. 101 to go. That's the 10th team foul on the Lady Bobcats. It'll be double bonus the rest of the way. Of course, just over a minute to go. Williams missed that one. It looks like it's going to be waved off. There was a lane violation. It'll go the other way. Would not have counted even if it had gone in. Lady Bobcats bring it down. It's Amy House. House stops at the arc. Gives it in to Bell. Bell dumps it down low to Pitchin. Pitchin out to House. House now to Kristen Smith who works it to Bell. Bell drives baseline. Hits it off the bottom of the backboard. Rebound Chantrell Williams. She loses control. Mallory Odom runs it down and is fouled by Chantrell Williams. 41 seconds to go. That is the 10th team foul on the Lady Tigers. We're going to go ahead and take a very short break, folks, and then bring you these free throws by Mallory Odom right after this. Odom with the first air ball, and... Score will remain 115 to 80. Bells out on the floor. House, Odom, Pitchin, and Kristen Smith for the Lady Bobcats. Second from Odom, much better. That'll make it 116 to 80. Totten across the stripe. Her pass is picked off by Odom. Odom trying to go the distance. She is blocked by Sisk, but it does look like Sisk got her on the arm from behind. Mallory Odom will once again find herself on the line with 29 seconds to go. Mallory, one for two so far in this game. Kind of a mop-up substitution for the Lady Bobcats. She has three points in the contest. Fires the first and knocks it down. 117 to 80. Each team double digits in the fouls department. Odom hits that one off the back iron. Rebound though, Jones County no good. Another rebound, another no good. Now under the bucket it was 30, Kristen Smith who couldn't get it to go. Jones leading the push the other way. She's picked up by Pitchin. Stifled on the ground trying to grab it. Possession arrow is in the Lady Tigers' favor with 13.8 seconds. They will inbound it from the sideline. Number 23, Taylor Bodane, or Boudane, coming off the bench to knock that ball back to the referee. Now Totten's pass goes nowhere on the inbound. Jones trying to push it. Pass is intercepted, though, by Gilbert. Gilbert crosses over a couple of defenders. She's being pestered by House. Gives it back to Sisk. Two seconds, one second. Sisk will throw it up. That ball is well short. That's your ball.